This is my setup for the uh, Honeywell particulate counter. It's portable and has a display screen. Here's the particulate uh, counter. Here's a display screen. This is a red board, SparkFun red board, which is a Arduino Uno clone. Then I have a uh, level shifter that takes uh, 5 volt, which is what the uh, output of these pins are, down to 3 volt, which is what the uh, communications is on the uh, Spark or on the uh, Honeywell. Then I have a real time clock. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know what the problem is, so whether it's the uh, software uh, communications or what, but occasionally this thing will uh, not boot up properly and I have to reset it. And uh, sometimes it will come out with a uh, bogus value like 51 parts per million and so you have to reset it but this looks uh, like a proper value this shows when this goes from the plus to the asterisk that's a one uh, measurement and then when it goes again that's another measurement just tells you that you're actually doing something on the uh, on the Honeywell particulate counter. And that is pretty much it for the particulate. This is the <clears throat> wiring for the setup that I have. We have the uh, 4 by 20 LCD screen that uh, has an uh, interface that goes to uh, I to C and real-time clock, which is also I2C, but we're hooked up and hooked up to a 4 and a 5. Now on my breadboard, there is a separate STA and SCL output, but hey, the UNO should work this way. Also have the 5 volt, 5 volt, and 3 volt. Uh, power out to the uh, interface board or the breadboard. I also have a pin 7 which is a debug. If it's grounded there is no debug. If you put it in the uh, 3 volt it will it'll output debug statements to the IDE terminal. This is the HPMA 115SO, uh, uh, which is the Hewlett Packard particulate counter. And the, if you look at the back, the number one pin is near the fan and it goes from right to left, increasing. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. You need a level shifter for the uh, pin 6 and pin 7. 5 volts goes into pin 2. And that pretty much shows the uh, wiring. Here is the sketch that I have. I've got the DS3231 library and the code for reading the Honeywell comes from uh, 
I'm sorry, on this <coughs> website. And it is by Theodore Kaschaudi, or however you pronounce his name. We have to include the uh, 3231 real time clock. We have to include the liquid crystal light 2C <coughs> library. And I had to use the Alt Soft Serial. Uh, essentially, it's a software serial port that uses pin 8 and 9. And I had problems with this thing <coughs> starting up and running properly the first time through. So I had to do a whole bunch of uh, troubleshooting. Now the Python, which I have uh, another setup going over on the uh, Raspberry Pi using a Python code, it's never messed up. I try to delay because I don't think the HPMA likes to uh, be immediately looked at, but that didn't help that much. And you have to stop the auto send. And if you ever get here, <clears throat> so if you get a bad auto send, then I uh, delay and then do a reset function. Reset function is here. It essentially jumps the program to address zero, which is uh, pretty much the same as uh, being the reset on the And that seemed to work, although I still have problems with the uh, loop <coughs> coming back with some outrageous numbers, in which case I just uh, turn off power, turn it back on. It seems to uh, sometimes get the problem. Uh, that is essentially the program for the HPMA 115 SO S0.